Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am just going to be unboxing my March BoxyCharm. If you are unfamiliar, BoxyCharm is $21 a month plus $5 for shipping. If you are Canadian like myself, you get four to five full-size beauty products every single month and the minimum value is always $100 or more. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do get this box sent to me and I am an affiliate so I do make a small commission if you sign up for my link which is always in the description bar down below. I'm a huge believer in full disclosure and honestly it's just like a little bit overkill to say that in every single video but I do always have a disclosure in the description box if you're curious if something is like sponsored. And huge thank you to anyone who has or will sign up through my link. I really appreciate it and any little bit of money I do make off of that affiliate link I do put right back into my YouTube channel buying products to review and things like that. So let's just go ahead and jump on into it. The card on top says creepy cute which is interesting and then this is what the box is looking like at first glance. You can see a makeup brush but I can't really tell what anything else is. And as always I'm going to set this aside to the end. Sometimes I forget to look at it after but I'm going to remember I'm making myself I'm going to check this at the end of the video I'm not gonna forget let's go ahead and start off with the makeup brush it looks like a big fan brush from crown that's really nice because I don't actually own like a large fan brush I've never actually tried one so I don't really know if I'm going to like it but this is the SS023 jumbo kabuki fan so it's just an oversized fan brush I know people really like this for contouring and for highlighting or you could also use it to just like lightly dust on setting powder been really impressed with all the crown brushes I've tried in the past I'm really liking how many brushes they're including recently I I feel like there's been a brush or two or like a little set in every single box which I feel like is really great especially if you're just getting into makeup to build up your brush collection. Next up we've got a lip liner from Real Her which on my FabFitFun unboxing that I just recently posted a few of you guys commented and let me know there would be Real Her products in this box which I was like damn it because I try and avoid spoilers so much but it's okay don't worry I forgive you guys. It says it is the expert advice lip liner in the shade I Am Precious. It's really interesting, there's been so much crossover between FabFitFun and BoxyCharm, like you can really tell when these brands are like going and actively seeking out being included in these boxes, if you know what I mean, because there's been a real her, Oscar Blondie, Dr. Brand, and there was one other brand recently that I've gotten in both. I'm blanking on what the fourth one was, but there was definitely something, but anyways, this is just kind of like a standard, it's like a plastic lip liner. Ooh, the colors, okay, that just like completely broke off. Do you guys see the tip is there? The color is really pretty. It's just like a mauvey, plummy kind of rose shade. Not too impressed with that breaking off right off the bat, but the color is pretty and it is a color I can see myself using. Okay, and then there is also a Real Her Lady Love Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade I Will Succeed. Let's open this guy up. I am glad that the colors in BoxyCharm are a little bit more on the neutral side because it was like a blood red in FabFitFun and I haven't actually tried it yet because I don't wear reds that often, but this color looks really nice. Ooh, I am going to love that. It is just like a peachy, super peachy nude. That is beautiful. That is a color that is so up my alley. I'm definitely going to be using that. Really excited for that one. Ooh, second to last, we have got a little mini Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is just like the original one, and it is up to luxe size, actually. Isn't BoxyTerm supposed to be all full-size products? That's a little bit weird, BoxyCharm. We're supposed to be getting full sizes in here. I'll probably add this to my 100K giveaway pile, which by the way, it is growing very nicely. I'm so excited to hit 100K to give one of you guys this prize because it's amazing. But I'm gonna throw that in there because I already have a full size of this that's also still sealed that I haven't touched yet. And then the last thing says Naked Cosmetics on it. It's a little black compact, literally says nothing but the brand name on it. So this is gonna be a complete surprise. Ooh, wow, that is like a really unique eyeshadow palette. Oh, the shadows smell really bad. That smell just like hit me. Oh, what does that smell? It reminds me of something. It smells like rubber, but it smells like something really particular, but I can't put my finger on what it is. These shadows look beautiful though. They're all like a metallic looking finish. There's like an olive green, kind of like a deep terracotta orange, and then like a plummy burgundy kind of color. These look like they're gonna be pigmented as hell. Let's do some swatches. I should have picked these up on my other fingers. Ooh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. I've never heard of this brand before, but they have got my attention. Look at that. They have such a beautiful, metallic, almost foiled finish, and they're just so pigmented. It's like pure pigmentation. This brand has got my attention, even though their eyeshadows smell awful. <laughs> it's a very kind of like fall colorway, but I'm definitely feeling inspired by these shades. Maybe I'll do a look with them. We'll see. So that was everything I received in my March box. I just took a look at the card, and the total value for this one is $102.50. So we're just barely making that $100 threshold. Overall, I am happy with this box. That little eyeshadow trio is $40, which is kind of crazy. 
for like a brand I've never heard of for just like an eyeshadow trio but in all fairness they do look absolutely beautiful I'm honestly pretty happy with this box overall the things I'm most excited for are the liquid lipstick the fan brush and then this little eyeshadow trio I kind of wish they hadn't included two real her products I wish they had done a little bit more variety because I would have been much more happy with this and then not the lip liner but something else from a different brand just to mix it up a little bit but I'm also feeling that way partially because I did get three lip products from them in FabFitFun. This I'm a little bit confused about. Like I'm happy to see Smashbox primers in BoxyCharm, but their whole thing has been that they're all full size products. So that's just kind of weird. Like this is a size that they sell. It's not like a straight up sample size. But I don't know, that's just a little bit weird to me. What do you guys think? But yeah, I think that is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you are already subscribed to BoxyCharm, let me know if you got anything different in your box, like different colors, different products, anything like that. And if you aren't subscribed already, once again, my link to sign up will be down below. And I'll also link my playlist of past BoxyCharm unboxings in case you want to get a better feel for the box if you're like a little bit unsure. But give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I am at Rian on all three. And hit that subscribe button down below if you are new here, but I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.